Okay, so it's chapter two of trying to tell. Of if you lie, you die. And the chapter two is called trying to tell. I'm guessing that she's trying to tell, um, like, what, like, if you lie, you die. That's what I'm guessing. After what I found out, I tried to warn everybody, but no one would believe till I told the bully. And he lied like five times just to be smart. Everyone heard him, and later that day, he died. I knew 100% it was the lie. So two days later, I decided to just ignore. So then I had no friends, because then I would be sad and start crying when they lied. Till I knew. I cried so bad, both of my parents lied to each other. And two days later, that... Okay. I cried so bad. Both of my parents lied to each other. And two days later, they died. I was alone. The only words I could think about that night was alone, sad, lie, and death. Crying in bed, I thought if only I could bring them back. One night, I was heading home from the quiet, empty grocery store that had very few people. I saw a kid. He was a boy about my age, saying, by height, and he was staring at my house. I said, what are you doing staring at my house? He said, well, when my parents were in this world, they lived here. I said in confusion, when they were in this world, he said, yes, they died. They cheated on each other and both lied, and... They died randomly till I found out if you lie. Oop. Till I found out if you lie, you die. I said, oh, gee, that is what happened to me. Sorry, I lost my place. <laughs> I said, oh, gee, that's, that's what happened to me. And still this day, I live here. It scares me because I always used to lie. And I don't anymore. He said, come to my place. It is much bigger. And I have a dog, too. I said, I guess. So I went on thinking about those words. Mostly lie, die. Lie and die. (laughs) Sooner than later, I guess I had thought everything was fine until I saw him. The boy I met dead on the floor. It was the most terrifying thing I ever saw. I was trying to think what he lied about to be dead. He must have forgot about this whole solution. The next day, I'm so sick of everything, so I tried to find someone else. But all I found was car with a car with keys in it. And I found some shoes. I don't know what for, but I went into when I went to the woods and saw something with the flash of blood and the noise of a scream. Pitch black was everywhere. I passed out and woke up to a girl crying. And when I woke up, I was scared to death because behind her was a tall creature, all black, white eyes. I said, "Run!" She screamed, crying, and ran as fast as she could. We got to safety and knew we were probably the last people on earth so we tried to do research on the thing we saw but it was no use after so long we gave up i told her i found this out everyone who has lied has died so if you lie oh run i lost my spot again oh my god Okay, I found this out. Everyone who has lied has died. So if you lie, you die. She said, yes, OMG, same. So we went along, no lies, nothing. It was hard, but worked out. Her friend that she met had the name of Ozzy James. So she was never a liar and never had lied. But the way she was not allowed to make it harder. Not allowed to made it harder. We tried our best. 
We went to get blueberries from a bush, but then we realized a track of feet. We followed them, and they led us to this noise. It gave us the creeps and bad vibes, but we went in it anyway. We saw two boys on a couch. We asked them if they knew what was happening. They said, if you lie, you die, shredding tears. They said it again, if you lie, you die. The other boy weeping on the floor, we went up to them we said and we said we know don't worry if we all stick together we'll we will be fine they said their name was carlos and max and later that evening we were eating and about to go to bed but we heard something something that made us incredibly petrified it was a roar and screams chapter three What a mystery. That's all I have for today. Stay tuned.